Hey guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment in Belchertown, Massachusetts. And uh, a lot of people have been asking about the tier four engine design in pretty much all equipment these days. And I figured why not put together a quick little video today on Coyote or Daydong's engine uh, tier four compliancy and what they're offering on their engines right now above 26 horsepower um, and how their design works. Um, and just kind of go through a few things because a lot of people are questioning it and there's not really any videos out there on most manufacturers tier four stuff. So um, figured I'd throw that together for you. I did put a little uh, notepad here with some information. So I'm gonna read off some stats. This is straight from Coyote's website currently. Um, so I'm just gonna go through their, uh, basically their uh, statement that they produced in 2013 when they came out with this tier four uh, eco technology. So I'm gonna read this to you real quick. The Daydong tier four eco engines are outfitted with common rail direct injection Cooled, cooled exhaust gas recirculation and diesel particulate filters, or DPF, fulfilling and exceeding the requirements for the tier four standard by over 10%, which is huge. Each engine also features an electronically controlled high pressure common rail system, an 1800 bar with direct injection, optimized combustion cha chamber, cooled exhaust gas recirculation, and DPF all contribute to the fulfillment of the tier four final EPA requirements. Um, and basically in pr preparation for this launch of this engine design back in 2011 and 2012, when these companies were producing these engines and testing them, the engines had been put through prolonged extreme condition testing to determine high operation levels while still reaching compliancy. Quality and performance tests conducted in the Alps at elevations of over 6,500 square uh, feet in elevation, not square feet, um, and negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. And these engines still performed at their maximum levels uh, and had no indication of any issues going on. Um, the Daydong Tier 4 Eco engine endured prolonged exposure to extreme heat as well, uh, and at elevation conditions, as we already mentioned, under testing while still maintaining their optimal performance. Uh, at the beginning of 2013, the implementation of the final Tier 4 legislation began to be enforced. The legislation required strict engine emissions regulation, strict engine reg, emission regulations through North America on all off-road diesel engines that produce 75 horsepower or less generally. Uh, the legislation calls for the reduction of particulate matter, more or less nitrogen oxides, hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide in engine emissions. Um, so a little bit more about Coyote and, and Daydong. So Daydong is the South Korean manufacturer of all the Coyote products that we sell. Uh, they make everything from their engines, transmissions, front axles, all that stuff. Um, they do a really, really good job supplying all the parts for these engines and having a really reliable engine setup. Um, so as this was coming out, the tier four final emissions, Daydong was actually the first tier four compliant diesel engine company out of South Korea, um, which is kind of cool to say. Uh, however, there's not a crazy amount of engine companies coming out of South Korea, but there's still a, quite, a, quite a few. Um, so them being the first, that was pretty cool. Uh, to this day, something I'm proud to state as when this first came out, everybody was worried about it, um, including us here. And since it came out in 2013, uh, we have zero warranties filed on anything emissions related since it has come out day one. Um, and I can quite honestly say with hundreds of tractors sold each year, we got nearly thousands or a thousand tractors out there from our dealership alone with this system in it. And we have had zero warranties and zero failures. Um, and really just zero issues overall. I've never found myself in a predicament where one of these engines had an issue with anything on the emission system or just engines in general with these new systems. Um, and through testing, I have guys that are running these machines since they came out brand new and have already put a couple thousand hours on these engines and again, no issues. So that's pretty comfortable to uh, compliment and say. Um, and another thing that Coyote's proud to say is these tier four engines produce 20% more power um, than they previously did. So that, that's pretty cool. And about 20 or 15% less fuel consumption is also coming out of these tier four engine designs by Coyote. Um, and of course, last but not least, it's gonna be cleaner emissions. That's kind of what happened here. Government regulated it just to make these emissions cleaner. Um, 
So as we come over here, I'm just going to show you a quick snapshot overview of this. This is an NX4510. This is a 45 horsepower motor. Um, also, this mo series is available up to 60 horsepower. So this is the 45 horse. Um, basically, right here in back of the hood where this piping is going, you've got your diesel particulate filter um, right there. That more or less took the spot of a standard old muffler, um, and that filter is going to do something called a regen. Uh, generally, about every 30 to 60 hours, this, a light's going to come on the dash and want you to regen out this big canister that is collecting the soot from the engine. Um, when the light comes on the dash, generally you can do an auto regen while you're in motion operating this machine. Uh, you would just ma manually just click the button and say, yes, okay, I want to regen. It will make you raise your RPM above 1800 RPMs, generally 2000 to 2500 RPMs for an auto regen. And it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 25, it's a little more clogged, and you'll be good to go. You can still operate the tractor, it just requires that you're going to have your RPMs above that uh, increment. Uh, however, you're able to skip the regen if you're really busy and you can't raise the RPMs or you're doing a job that just can't allow you to regen. You can skip it two times. The third time you will skip that regen, uh, you will run into the issue of needing to do a parked regen where you're going to set the parking brake and it's gonna rev that tractor's engine all the way to the sky to regen it out um, because at this point in time you've skipped it and the filter is more clogged than it was at the beginning regen, auto regen. Um, again, we've had no issues. We've never had a guy that ran into an, a regen issue and that's comfortable for me to say because a lot of other companies have major, major, seen major issues, especially in the trucking industry more or less on these diesel particulate filter designs. Um, but Coyote has been very, very reliable. So that's nice to say. Um, another thing, no Coyote engines are gonna require urea or DEF fluid. You'll see right here, here's your diesel fuel tank. There's no blue cap anywhere close to it or anywhere on this tractor. Um, you will not see that requirement on most tractor brands, um, Coyote in particular as well, um, until you get above like 75 horsepower. That's when you're generally gonna start to see that issue of needing urea. Um, and that's a nice, you're just putting good old diesel in here. Um, but more or less on the side here, this, you know, the blocks right in here, uh, turbo, your manifold in back here, go into your muffler or diesel particulate filter now um, to your, you know, pipe coming out. Below that, this is an uh, EGR cool it, a cooler for the EGR, and on the other side, you're gonna have your EGR, um, and that's basically something that's new to the tier four world. Uh, alternator starter, not much else going on on this side. We'll go to the other side real quick to just show you a quick snapshot. The other side of the engine on tier four stuff really on this Coyote design isn't really much going on. Um, you got your EGR up, up top here, uh, fuel filter with a primer, engine oil filter, dipstick, hydraulic pump. That's about it, not, not much else right here. So nothing crazy to look at. Uh, the one thing that is up there, we can't see it right now, but you will see this wiring harness going to, that's gonna be your, uh, your computer board on this. So that is another thing that these tier four engines will have a computer board um, to basically plug in an OBD2 port type scanner and check if there is a problem with something potentially. Uh, let's say a check engine lights on we, and it's throwing a code, you can plug it in and it will tell you what's going on with that uh, engine or what's going on in the tractor, kind of like a car. You know, you could plug in an OBD2 and it'll tell you kind of where the direction to look in to fix that problem. Um, so that's enough on the emission system. Now, if you're, you know, what I would call a weekend warrior or weekend farmer, or hobby farmer, there's a common thing right now of a lot of guys trying to stay away from emissions and in compact tractors, how would you do that is you're gonna try and buy the biggest tractor you can um, with the under requirement horsepower. So this being a 2610 is right under uh, the emissions requirement. Anything above 26 horsepower on these tractors and you will need to have all the emissions stuff on them. So right now we're seeing a lot of guys trying to get the biggest tractor they can, which this is quite a big tractor for only having 26 um, horsepower. But generally you won't see the diesel particulate filter up there. There's nothing. It's just a good old muffler. No computer board. Um, none of the EGR or anything like that. So this is just a good old three cylinder diesel pretty similar to anything that was a previous design, not much has changed. Um, so we are seeing a lot of guys go with that. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview on, on what this new system is, uh, how reliable it has been for our customers, and we hope other dealers are seeing the same thing. 
Um, it's been a really, really reliable engine, really, really good product they've produced. Um, we've been selling Coyotes for close to 30 years here. They've been an awesome machine. I got guys with thousands and thousands of hours on it all over uh, the Northeast here, and they're, they're loving their Coyotes. So if you've got any other questions about this emission system or any Coyote product in general, give us a call at 413-253-5456 or visit us on our website at orchardhillsales.com. Uh, my name's Marshall. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys got.